I'm Ava and a few weeks ago I tested out some Barbie doll hacks and you guys seem to love that video. So today we're gonna test out some more. The first hack we're gonna try out is making a doll beanie out of yarn. So it looked like the first thing they did was grab like a paper towel roll thing and cut a piece off of it. But if I actually put it on a doll's head, it's kind of a little bit bigger than necessary. So we're already gonna break the first rule and instead I'm gonna cut a strip of paperboard and I'm gonna bend it and glue it so it'll fit nice and snug on the doll's head and not be like an awkward size. I feel like this will just work better. And even if I compare it to the tube, you can see the size difference. I wouldn't call this cheating. I'd just say this is me tweaking the hack so that it'll have the best chance of working. Then it looks like they use yarn. I have this pink and blue color and I think they'll look good together. And then I'm gonna measure out the strands and cut them at around 20 centimeters, or at least that's what they did. And it looks like we'll be needing a bunch of these. So I cut a bunch of strands of yarn and hopefully this is enough. I guess we're gonna find out, but it looks like I just fold a piece in half and then pull it through or like stick it through the center here and then like pull the ends like that. And I'm gonna alternate between pink and blue as I go. The pink is a bit thinner than the blue. So hopefully that doesn't end up looking weird. Okay, the yarn is now all the way around and I'm gonna use one more of my yarn threads to tie all the ends together. And lastly, it looks like I just have to cut off all this excess yarn. And then this ends like a little pom-pom. And I personally really want my pom to look like good. So I'm kind of trimming it to give it as much as a fluffy look that I can. And now I guess let's just place it on the doll. <gasps> oh my gosh, this actually turned out great. I don't know why I'm always surprised when the hacks like actually work, but I am, I am surprised when they actually work. And this one worked really well. Here it is on another doll so you can really get an idea of what it looks like. And not to like toot my own horn or anything, but I think mine looks even better than in the video. Not gonna lie. So I definitely call this hack a success. Let's see what we have next. This next one I'm really excited about. Basically, it shows how to give your dolls tattoos using temporary tattoos. I didn't have any temporary tattoos, so I bought a whole pack because apparently you can't buy singular temporary tattoos on Amazon. You have to get like 50 sheets, which is literally the amount here. So we have lots to choose between. We're gonna experiment on this doll because I don't really care about her. And actually I did not plan this, but I kind of want to use these blue butterflies that are right on top because although this outfit is not like a permanent part of her, I feel like it'll look good with her outfit. And she also randomly has blue painted fingernails. So I feel like it's meant to be. I'm gonna cut out a singular butterfly and I guess the plastic part goes away. I'm probably making this difficult for myself by starting off with a really small tattoo. So I'm just gonna kind of place it where I think I want it. And then I just have a damp like wet cloth here I'm gonna put over. Most of you probably know how to actually use a temporary tattoo. I'm just bad at this. Okay, it's been a good like at least 30 seconds. I'm gonna see what we're dealing with here. Oh my gosh, what? That works so well. Okay, I had a feeling this was gonna work, but I did not think it was gonna work that well. Like it's literally on there. Now I literally wanna give all my dolls tattoos. This is literally gonna be like the eyelash thing all over again, where I'm just obsessed. But if you do scratch it, it will like get messed up. But if you just like are gentle with it, it's not gonna go away. But of course, if you did decide you wanted to remove it later, you could definitely use acetone and just like wipe it away. I know for a fact that that would work. I could test it, but like, I don't really wanna mess this up because I like it. Okay, you know what? I am gonna test it for you guys because I know that there's gonna be someone out there that just doesn't believe me or is just skeptical. So I just have some 100% acetone here and a cotton swab. This is going to hurt my soul, but let me just prove to you that this can be removed. There you go. Look at that. Okay, and now I wanna try it on a made to move doll. We're gonna use this girl. The hardest part is trying to choose one though. Ugh, fake blood warning. That's nasty. Who is putting that on themselves? No. Part of me is tempted to do like one of these on the back. I think this top one would be too big, especially with her joint there, but we could do this small one on the back maybe. It just looks cool. I have no idea what it says though. If it, does it say something? I literally tried even taking a photo and, and flipping it and I still can't figure out what it says. So hopefully it's nothing weird and it maybe it's just a cool design. Either way, I kind of want to try this out. Okay, so I'm going to cut it out. 
I'm also just now realizing how difficult it's gonna be to get this perfectly centered, because otherwise it could quickly start to look bad. I did cut really closely around it though, so hopefully I can figure out where to put this thing. I'm just gonna like line it up, and I'm just gonna put on the towel. Okay, I'm scared, not gonna lie, I'm very scared. But let's see, let's see what happened. Oh my gosh, I did good. <laughs> that looks so cool. And I still have absolutely no idea what it says. I'm just gonna assume that's like cool details because I cannot read whatever that says, if it says something. Okay, and now because I can't resist it, I'm just gonna give her one more, I think on her arm, just this little star here. Voila. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I would 100% call this hack a success. I'm so happy with how it turned out. These tattoos look so cool. And now I'm literally so tempted to just give all my dolls tattoos, but I will resist. I absolutely love this hack. Comment below and let me know what you guys think. Oh, also look at this one I found. How cool would that look on a doll's back? Like little wings, that would look so good. Here's also a tattoo sleeve I put on Emily. I don't plan on this being permanent, but I just wanted this for the thumbnail. I thought it looked really cool. And if I'm being completely honest, I'm so tempted to just leave this like this, but I am planning on removing it. But let me know what you guys think about Emily having this tattoo sleeve. It's kind of fun, but maybe it's a bit much. I don't know, but I literally used some of my favorite tattoos on her. So I'd be so sad to wipe this away. I've actually seen a bunch of Barbie doll clothing hacks with balloons. So today I wanna try one out and see if it actually works. So on the one I'm following, it looks like the first step is to make a little cut up at the top here. So then it has like this piece cut out in the front. I feel like I did that kind of messy. Then it seems like you cut the bottom off. My scissors are so dull. This is hard to watch. Pro tip, use uh, very sharp scissors if you're gonna do this. And then it looks like they made some little snips at the bottom here on both sides. I am doubting this right now. All I can say is this definitely doesn't look like a dress, but maybe when we put it on, it'll all magically work out. I also think my like neck of the balloon is much longer than the one in the video, so I hope that doesn't affect anything, but I'm basically just gonna stretch this out. Guess her feet are supposed to go through this little hole here, and then her whole entire body is supposed to go in the rest of it. I, I feel like my nails are gonna break it. How am I gonna do this? How is the doll supposed to fit in there? Oh my goodness. My fingers are in pain right now. There's just no way I'm gonna make this work. No, no. Okay, I'm not one to give up too easy. So I have a smaller balloon, but I think the neck is a bit smaller as well. Okay, <laughs> if I sound out of breath, that's because I am. This was a workout, but it definitely was easier than the last balloon. I did get it stretched here so far. So I'm just gonna kind of keep stretching it up her body. This is definitely like one of those dresses where you wear once and then never ever wear again. Okay, this is the situation. Now I have to get this little tiny thing over her head somehow. That's our next thing we have to figure out. <laughs> Remind me to never do balloon clothing hacks ever again, please. <laughs> did this work? Yes. Do I like how it looks? Not really. Is she gonna be able to move her legs more than half a centimeter in this dress? Definitely not. <laughs> yeah, it definitely did work. It is how it looks in the video, I'd say. I just think using the really light pink color didn't really work to my best advantage. You can like see little lines of everything. I like the looks of the slits on the side. That's like definitely unique. And I like the shape of the dress. It's just really not realistic and she really can't move her legs like at all. So she's not walking anywhere in this unless it's to her fridge. But I would say this is a half success because it looks similar. It was not a fun process to do and she can't actually move in this dress at all. It just might look good for like a photo or two but let me know what you guys think if you think this is a fail or success you know your dress is uncomfortable when you literally have to cut it off your body to remove it there was no way i was going to take this off the same way i put it on this next hack shows how to apparently easily give your dolls some bangs a couple of videos ago i roasted this doll for her big forehead at this rate she'll probably be going bald soon but oh well she's pretty much already getting there with that large forehead so what better doll to test it out on than her nothing against big foreheads but i think it will just work best and hopefully look best because she does have a larger forehead Head. I'm gonna start by sectioning off her hair into two sections, basically making a section in front that will be for her bangs. This could be really bad. I tied up her hair in a ponytail and then have this little section here that are gonna be the bangs. I'm scared. I have my little tiny spray bottle ready along with this like spoolie. I don't have the exact same one as they do in the video, so hopefully that won't affect anything, but I just cleaned off this old mascara wand. I don't even know if this tool is like vital to the process, but hopefully this works just the same. So I'm gonna like brush out her front pieces here. Kind of pull them nice and tight there. Then spray it down a bit. Okay, I don't know how much, but I feel like 
you can't really overdo it because it's water. And this is where it gets scary. They literally just go for it. They just cut it. I feel like it's better to do a little bit longer than you'd expect, especially to start. I'm very afraid. <laughs> that looks horrible. Okay, 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 okay. And then they take their spoolie and they like... Oh my gosh. Stop. This is horrible. I have so many regrets. Okay. No, 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 no. No. That's horrible. Good thing this doll isn't one I care about, but she did kind of have a special place in my heart. I should have known I couldn't trust this hack. It looked too good to be true. Okay, so the hack didn't work. Maybe this mascara wand just isn't doing the trick. Maybe that's a problem, but I feel like nothing could save this, to be honest, like nothing. So I'm gonna attempt to fix this myself. I'm gonna go and rinse her hair under some boiling hot water. So hopefully this can lay flat. And I thought she looked scary before. This looks like something right out of my nightmares. It's literally like shaped to her eyes. There's like indents where her eyes are. I'm gonna let this scary looking thing dry. I would call the hack a fail because it was definitely not as easy as they made it look. But hopefully I can still salvage this and still give her some good looking bangs. We'll find out when this dries. Okay, so her hair is dry. She still has those creepy indents from her eyes there. I don't know what that's about, but I think I'm just gonna try to carefully cut these shorter because obviously they're too long right now. They're literally covering her entire face. She can't see anything. Great, I'm getting hair everywhere. That was a horrible cut. Good thing she's a doll because otherwise I'd be literally poking out her eyeballs with these scissors. Okay, <laughs> it's kind of coming together, sort of. I'm gonna make a couple snips upwards like this to kind of... I don't really know. I just see people do this. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. I could probably mess around with these a bit more, but I'm kind of too scared to because I don't actually hate how it looks right now. There definitely is this awkward, like, bald line spot right above her bangs, but this is my first time trying out bangs, and I don't think it's terrible. The hack definitely did not work like it was supposed to, but I managed to kind of salvage this. If you guys have any tips for how to give dolls some bangs or what I could do differently if I actually want to do this on a doll that I care about, comment below and let me know. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Is this good or is it kind of trash? Either way, it's definitely disguising that huge forehead. <laughs> Those are all the hacks we're gonna try out today. Comment below and let me know which was your favorite and which ones you think were a success or a fail. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can become part of the hashtag DD squad. It would mean the world to have your support. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys and see you all in the next one. Bye.